Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm with Dave Phillips out here at Timaquan Golf Club. Hey Dave. Hey Brandon. Good to see you. <laughs> to see you. Dave and I were together uh, a couple years ago and uh, Dave said he's been watching my swing on Instagram, um, seen some, a lot of good things, some, some uh, bad things. And, and uh, this is something that we're going to talk about today is gets more distance, but it also, it will kind of pressurize the shaft going later. Uh, Dave, I was showing you, we want to be like that an impact not have it fall away from us like this. So, so you were, this is something you were working on. Yeah, so I call this, this drill, I call it a spreader drill. So something you'll see with really good golfers and especially long hitters, as they get through the, the hitting area, you'll see a lot of spacing here. If you see someone who's a short hitter or someone who slices the ball, comes over the top, you'll see everything working together. There's no separation. So this drill I do helps you feel it kind of automatically. So to see what we're talking about, Dave, so, so go to like what Rory McIlroy so would, would be at impact. So that would be, what are we calling that folks? Like a foot almost. And then do, do what like a, a real, like a Mr. Haversham from Caddyshack would be Actually, there more about. Like that. Yeah, more like that. That'd be about four inches. So, so we're getting this, this angle a little wider and uh, really the best way to do it isn't to talk about it, it's just to feel it. So that's what we're gonna do here. Yeah. So hit one and then we'll, okay. we'll so. do the split after. Okay. Now, when I, when I do this drill, so I'm do going, no ball, right? Yeah, no yeah. ball here. I'm gonna, he's gonna turn to the top. I'm going to separate him. We'll do it slow first. And as I get to about here, he's gonna let his hips go and really swing through and finish the swing. And you'll see a big pickup and club head speed when I, when I add the force. So okay. let's go to the top. So you can see I'm, I'm creating, it's kind of like an overspeed feeling and it's, it's really wild, yeah. teaching him how to send his arms And, and as much as Dave is doing this, I gotta, add, I gotta add an equal amount of this or else it'll be out of balance. Exactly, yeah. we're, not gonna, we're not gonna get it back. Good. And you can cool. see it, he hits a much more full finish than is his regular golf swing. Too. Yeah, regularly I get very ball bound and locked up right here and Dave was saying, Oh, I need to get more like this, and that's how this came up when we were talking. So I'll try it, Dave, here. All right. You see if I'm bringing that feeling. Yeah, it's super. Yeah, it's good. Let's try one more. And then the variation I did, because we're talking about a lot of drills and training aids and guidance, things that help you do what you want to do. Sometimes you want to you want to also look at things that are stopping you from doing what you want to do So you have to do the work. So yeah, now we're so, gonna go. So we're gonna do a constrict more like a constriction here Yeah, rather than a spreader we're gonna do and I'm gonna create some resistance So, so he's there and now I have to pull that you can give me a little more. I have to pull that those things apart Okay, good. And now we're gonna good. Just keep that feeling this will get the strike much later too. The club will bottom out later and you'll get your speed at where it counts. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good fly. Let's do, we'll, we'll do one more. Yeah, one more. So we'll do the uh -huh. separate first, yep. go. And then we'll do the constriction. Uh -huh. Now go. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay, so I'm here. I'm feeling that like that, good. right? Yep, better. Get it. This is really teaching you how to swing the club a little more. And yeah, I like that. We'll do one more. And that's kind of what I promote is really swinging the club and not and not trying to just hit at the ball so much. Right, right. Yeah, because if I was to do no ball there, you can see how like I'm like wrapping around me like Adam Scott kind Absolutely. of thing. T totally full finish and that's all organic you're not forcing that so i kind of want to forget about the ball a little bit right mm -hmm. or completely beautiful yeah that would work so really dave what this is doing from a face on view it's kind of like we've been talking about it's kind of accelerating the arms so you don't do like body and everything first exactly. and then have to do it's kind of getting yeah. it going that way uh-huh without really thinking like yeah kind of an old, old school feel they used to say like you hit it with your left ear and if you look at most pros they're not at impact like that they're kind of back like this and that's that's where you can see that, that great space oh yeah yeah and then you, you let the hips go and then it makes your finish all all natural yeah that's really good yeah all right guys try that out if you want to talk to dave 
He's teaching golf lessons here at Tim McQuan Golf Club in Lake Mary, Florida, just north of Orlando. And uh, you can contact him. What's the best way to contact you? Um, you can contact me through email or, uh, yeah, email is the best thing. Um, and we'll put that below. Yep. There you're written below. Click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thanks, Dave. No problem.